Last night was the first night in NFL history with the new overtime rules that were put in place essentially after the legendary Mahomes-Allen game. There are a lot of people critical or at minimum questioning Kyle Shanahan's decision to take the football first when the 49ers won the coin toss in overtime. What do they say? Yeah, major component in why they lose the football game. Going into overtime, we were in the booth and I said, no way that you take the ball first. You want, you want to give Kansas City the ball and make sure because what happens is you give the other team another down. Right when they took it, I said, you're giving Mahomes four downs that you have no shot. You know, I don't care how tired the defense is because I've heard people say, well, the defense was gassed. Figure out a way to go out there for one more potential stop. And the worst case scenario is Patrick drives them down the field, you get the ball back, and then you still have control of the game. You can still, at some point, if you want, go for two. So, um, mistake by Kyle Shannon and the 49ers. You've done an, a great number of college games for us. There's a similarity, right? In college overtime, teams always want to go second sure. with the ball because you know exactly what you need. You control the game. And, and that's what the 49ers didn't get. Do you think they got that wrong last night? Yeah, I agree because you got them to fourth down. And so if they had the ball first, you get them to fourth down, they kick. Right. Either they kick the they punt back there or they kick the field goal down inside. Then you get the ball with a chance to win. And I think a key point to what Dan said was you also still have control. You can go for two right. if you go down and score. So at the moment, I didn't hate it. Kyle Shanahan seemed to have a good rationale for it. Like it's, right. not, a, it's not the reason why they lost, yeah. but it is those little edges that you give up. It is a reason why yeah. they I would have lost. never given Patrick Mahomes four downs mm -hmm. in Andy Reid. That's what you do. Right. When you take it first, you give Mahomes four downs. To your point, they had it. Yeah, I think when you when you hear why he did what he did, again, it made sense. I, I was the same way when they first did Where it. Where did he I say why? Shocked. So let's play it. Let, yeah. Let's play it. So, so you, you're going to hear first Chris Jones, who was on Kansas City side, who was yeah. surprised that the Niners took the ball, and then you will hear Kyle Shanahan's reasoning. Go ahead. They're crazy. They're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Because the overtime rules has changed. That's just something we talked about with – you know, there, none of us have a ton of experience of it, but we went through all the analytics and talked to those guys, and we just thought it would be better. We wanted the ball third. Um, if both teams matched and scored, we wanted to be the ones who had the chance to go win, and um, we got that field goal, so we knew we had to hold them to at least to a field goal, and if, if we did, then we thought it was in our hands after that. Well, let's just make sure it's clear what he's saying there. If after the first two possessions, the new part of the rule is that the, the second team is guaranteed a possession, as Kansas City was last night, even if the Niners had scored a touchdown. If after those two possessions, for example, if the, Niner, the, the Chiefs had kicked a field goal on that drive where they won it, now it is next score wins. So now the Niners would be the first team with the ball with a chance to win without it being matched. That's the thinking. Yeah, two things. One, Kansas City's defense was phenomenal the whole game. Right. So I think that you're going to go and have a scoring drive once within a two series stretch is pretty exacerbated when you've really only had your, like your your trick play that was the touchdown outside of that. And the second thing is I would have gone for it on fourth down then. If if you if the thought was well we wanted the ball first, I would have gone for it. Now uh, you know, your your fourth and goal from the, you know, eight Also, I would have blocked Chris. No, no, you're fourth and four from the nine. You're fourth and four fourth from and four the from yeah, the nine. Yeah, yeah, Excuse me, four, yes. Yeah. I, 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 Let's go through that sequence for you because what Dan is talking about is critical. All these yeah. decisions. Look, you want to be an NFL head coach. Yeah. These are now decisions that are going to be questioned until the end of time. You took the ball. You have a second and four from the nine-yard line. You run the ball and get nothing. Then you throw the ball on third down, and mm -hmm. that's the play we just showed you where Chris Jones – is unblocked. Inexplicably comes unblocked. He saved three touchdowns last night. Yes, time. he did. But my point is, and then, you, so this is it. This is the third down play. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Jones unblocked. He has to Jennings throw the ball away. And that's a, that's a touchdown. Yeah. It's a touchdown if, 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 if Jennings bottom if, 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 if Chris Jones is blocked or just, you know, someone Nudge. gets in his way, Nudge. that's a touchdown. So, yeah. but, so the point of it is, are you saying you think there's an inconsistency in the decisions right. to take the ball first, but then not go for it on that fourth down? If you go for it on fourth, let's go, let's go through it. Right. If you go for it on fourth and four and you don't get it, now Kansas City has the ball very deep in their own territory, but a field goal wins the game. Yeah. Those are the decisions you're making. Yeah, if you're going to take the ball first and go for it there, or at least try to be aggressive, I think you go for it on fourth down. 
The truth is this. Kansas City got the ball back in that two-minute drive to end the game, went right down the field. You didn't stop them. They ran out of time. Right, right. right. They had started to gain momentum and mojo. So if you're Kyle Shanahan and you're thinking, I want the ball first, it's go and score yeah. and then put the pressure on them to have to need a touchdown rather than just a field goal. That, you that see the analytics on your screen. The, the, yeah. you, you said it earlier. One of you guys said it earlier this morning is that if, if – you could also run the ball on third and four. Correct. Yes. Yeah, if you're going to do it that way, that was, my, that was one of my big things, is if you're going to do it that way, you have two downs to get it. So run it on third down, and then you can throw it or run it. Because McCaffrey's your best player. Give the yourself only, a shot the on only that thing. thing. With that, Jeff, is it felt like every big run last night, Kansas City won against San Francisco's defense. You know, like, can't every – I was getting texts, why aren't they running the football? Kansas City's defense – was phenomenal. They play, yeah, they play good, but, downs but as third. they're driving down on that drive, sure. McCaffrey is Starting, playing extremely yeah, you're right. well. You're yeah. pushing guys around. They're doing those things. If you're going to do it that way, that would be my only hiccup to Washington. Or I thought, I, like for me, I thought I thought the 49ers would go for it on fourth down only because Patrick Mahomes was what I what we said like in the matrix. Yeah, that time. Done. Like there was the 49ers defense wasn't wasn't stopping anyone. So I figured, okay, they're going to just go. They're going to just go for it. Kansas City was completely shell-shocked. Yeah. Their body language was terrible. They were walking on and off the field. Obviously, the Kelsey bump, the, the body, they looked overwhelmed. Because you, you know why? Because they were getting smacked around. They, they were getting it, it was, like, shocking to see. Overwhelmed. And all you saw every time, the defense would run on and off the field, and the offense would just, like, lally gag off the field. It was weird to watch. To your point. Then the flip switch. The flip really switched on the MVS touchdown. Right yeah. when they got the, the fumble on the punt return yeah. and the MVS touchdown, it went to overturn. I guess there's two different ways to look at because the 49ers clearly play a role in losing the game last night. So we can dissect all these individual decisions, and they are open to scrutiny. That's the reality of a game of this magnitude. There's also just the simple overriding fact. San Francisco should have put this game away in the first half. They had opportunities to. You got McCaffrey fumbles the ball early, a bunch of stuff that turns into field goals, yeah. the, the muff punt. They, had, they looked so much better than the Chiefs did for the first, whatever it was, two hours of last night, yeah. and they let Mahomes Th that's hang That's the around. whole Shanahan thing. This whole conversation, you're going to lay it at the feet of the coach, but the coach can't hold the ball if you're McCaffrey Ooh. on the first drive. You can't, you can't get, get your foot hit on the punt with the Peter Cole. Like, all of those things can't happen, and you completely blame the head coach. At some point, players were responsible for a lot of the mistakes that happened that cost them the ball game. Well, think about the number of them, right? I mean, you've got the terrible extra point kick that everyone is blaming on the kicker. Now, usually a blocked kick or frequently is not the kicker's fault. Everyone seems yeah, to agree that, that one terrible. is his fault last night. You have the muff punt that completely, Dan, to your point, changes the momentum of the game. And you have opportunities early, a bunch of penalties, like a bunch of things. It felt like they should have been well more than just 10 nothing. in front. Yeah, up in the booth, I went to Lewis and Chris Fowler and I, midway through the second quarter, I was like, this is where the game feels bad if you're San Francisco. Because right. you've, the, I think the total yards in the first quarter were 125 to six. I mean, completely dominated the game. And I was like, it's three nothing. And obviously they go down the field, Kansas City, right before the half, they make it 10-3. And then Patrick comes out and makes a couple plays in the third quarter to cut it to 10-6. And then the, I understand where you're coming from, Greeny. Like, should have, like, shut him out or, or taken control of the game. You can't kill this team. That, that's – we said all year long about Kansas City. We knew the defense or the offense was underwhelming. The defense was always going to keep them in the game. We're going to talk about Patrick a lot. The defensive performance. Thank you. And, by, and Spags. Like, it, it's clear. Patrick's the best player I've ever seen. Steve Spagnuolo is the best big game defensive coordinator I've ever seen. I think he's one of the best in the history of the NFL. We're going to dive deeply into that coming up. Can, in just can, a can few I just minutes. say, one of the, like, I, I get the MVS touchdown, that kind of thing. When Mahomes throws the interception in the third quarter, you have three drives by the four. This is where I blame Shannon pass, pass, as the pass, play caller. Pass, pass, pass. They run nine plays. Eight of the nine passes. are passes. Like, at some point, and listen, we can talk about, but this, this is the MVP touchdown, but yeah. you're, you're making a point right yeah. before Ab this, Absolutely. San Francisco could have put you, it away. You, you, well, it, at least you're putting more pressure back on the Chiefs. They did not do that. And again, what, for what everybody, McCaffrey is your best player. Jeff, I find it a I'm, fascinating conversation, though, because it, it was very clear that Spag was putting people up at the line of scrimmage. Right. And but you, but you know, but are here, not going to here, run here, Here's what I will say. Just watching the game, I would say the first, you know, quarter and a half, the 49ers were bludgeoning yes. the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes. And 
at, at, at the time, they were only what, up like three, and I'm yeah. just like, three well, I, I, I agree. The running game, you attack the running game in that point, in that portion, if it's going to work. You don't know that it's going to work. We want him to be aggressive and to take the game away. And I also think that if you watch the 49ers, the 49ers are not a third down team. Correct. They hate right. third down. Yeah. Sure. They want to throw and complete right. the ball on first down. So if you run a pass play, you're the 49ers, the best time to do it is on yeah, first, first down. down. Yeah. So if they do it on first down and it's incomplete, now you want them to run it now. Yeah. Like, it feels like a game script thing that, that dictated it, and then afterwards we count them all up and say, oh, they should have kept running the ball. When actuality, if you watch them in those situations, I don't think any of those decisions I, I totally the whole agree with the yardage. Second down and long, you can still run the ball, bro. This whole idea that you have to throw it. You don't not have you got to. the best back in the game, dude. Yeah, but, but not when you're a bad no, year. You don't, don't, don't want to get to third down. You don't want to be a third and seven, the third best, and six. But the you best won't player be. on San Francisco's offense yesterday was Purdy. Like, I don't mind putting the ball in his hands consistently. He played really well.